guys, so today I wanted to make a video um, and the video is kind of a uh, discussion about uh, YouTubing, magic YouTubing and how it's grown and where I see it going in the future. Um, before, I had a channel, um, it was an extremely negative channel. Uh, most videos were pretty controversial but like it was not like today where it's a like, two-sided, it's kind of a more neutral controversy or I, t I don't take as much of a bias. It was kind of like, this is what I feel, this is what other magic players should feel, why don't you feel this way? And I've since learned that like, uh, you just have to present the facts and then at the end, give your opinion, um, but say that it's your opinion and say to take it with a grain of salt and that's that, right? And so I used to be a highly controversial YouTuber and now like a YouTube channel, I guess, and now I'm much less so. And part of this is due to the fact that I now have X amount of subscribers when before, like, I think I had 2,000 was the most I had in my old channel. And now I have, like, incredibly um, 15,000. And it was time for uh, me to do an update. Um, these numbers don't really matter to me. The last time a number mattered to me was, uh, I think, 5,000 because that's where... I expected the number to be like the max number to be and once I got the 6,000 I was like oh well I ex exceeded the expectations I set for myself at the time or for any channel that did, does MTG financing stuff. Uh, we've since gone on to be bigger. Um, the way I shoot the videos I shoot them all in one go. So all 14 videos or 12 videos in one sitting. Uh, meaning that they all get shot like the only one videos that don't get shot in that one sitting are the uh, Magic duel videos and then the videos like oh hey look new angel card, you know video obviously they're not like um, So I spend between two hours a weekend uh, shooting the videos and then about another two hours two and a half hours editing like doing basic edits which means intro outro uh, splicing some of the videos like you know like the when I shut the camera off you don't see that or and when I like open like you don't see that type of stuff because it's edited out but that's the only pieces that are edited out and yeah so I make those videos uh, playmat videos are very easy to make uh, or any video on a playmat screenomatic is the, by far the easiest type of video to make because it doesn't take time at all and yeah, so we make videos, but am I full-time on YouTubing? No, I'm not. Um, so unlike other channels, some other channels where their livelihoods are, they work on YouTubing, that's fantastic. And I love the fact that there are now channels on YouTube who are full-time YouTube magic channels. And I think that's a very important evolution to the growth of the YouTube community in general is to have the highest quality available uh, but that being said, I'm not going to quit my job and be like, okay, I'm going to do YouTubing, right? Um, that's not going to happen. And I just love YouTubing. I love interacting with you guys. And I am very grateful that I have this channel. And this channel is kind of more of a redemption because I can show you all the negative comments that uh, people have said about... Um, this channel, there's not that much negativity. Um, whatever amount it is, it's like... Even at this higher level, it's probably one-tenth the amount of negativity of the previous channel. So, but I really did love the previous channel a lot because it had the utter freedom to say whatever I wanted to say. Some of the stuff I am saying is very... Um, I figured out that I cannot say it in the way I want to say it. I still want to get the point across, but I have to be more PR about it, right? I have to think about it a little bit more carefully and not... Uh, make sure people are attacked or they feel offended, etc., uh, etc. Et and that's part of having a bigger channel is that you shouldn't like. If I saw like a YouTube video and I didn't really like it and it came from like a channel that was smaller and I made a comment on that channel, in the past, when you have a smaller channel, it doesn't make a difference. Like, what one subscriber will go over and say, Oh, that video sucks. But now, like, if there's a video um, like the Magic Monthly Box or something that I'm just like, Why are people doing this? I have to be fairly certain that I'm correct um, before I go ahead and attack it. And I have to be, uh, I have to, there's a high level of uh, responsibility. And I think that what that's what it comes down to. As the channel gets bigger and bigger, and I do hope that it gets bigger. And I 
am very grateful I have so many subscribers. Although I still like kind of, I still view 15,000 sometimes as like 1,500. I'm like, oh, cool, 1,500. No, I'm like dead serious um, about that fact because like back in the day, YouTubing on Magic was not like there was not many channels over 10,000. I think there was just one at the first time when I started my old channel. There was maybe one YouTuber over 10,000. Uh, when I mean YouTuber, I don't mean store. I don't mean um, website that is generated by like. 10 different people, right? Like Gathering Magic or uh, Star City Games or Channel Fireball. Those are great channels, but they're not, um, in my opinion, YouTubers because they're more like collaborations. They're more like a team of YouTubers, uh, which is not like a single person like me making a video. Uh, I think that's the video is very different because I have complete flexibility over what I want to say and what I want to do, and I don't need to consult anyone when I make a video. So, uh, simply put, um, our channel is going to continue uh, to, it, it will continue to be this way. Um, I don't feel like I, many changes need to be made. I will be getting a, so before I end, I will say that I have not, I've collected $7.20 off Patreon, total, lifetime. Seven twenty dollars total lifetime as of this recording, and now the seven twenty. dollars um, you had to send, I had to send the cards, I had to mail it and all that stuff, right? And at the end of the day, like, you know, YouTube itself doesn't pay very much. Uh, my videos do get more views than like some channels do. But overall, like you're not getting, like you're not, the only reason you would make YouTube videos is because you enjoy making YouTube videos. That being said, I love the fact that we're transforming uh, into uh, more of a, you know, hey, you can do YouTubing magic uh, full time. I think that little, that ability, and it's been shown, uh, the Mana Source, Tolarian, they've shown that you can raise enough money to do it full time. And that's fantastic for many reasons, but the primary reason I would love it is because that's gonna increase the amount of content creators. Because then content creators will be like, hey, maybe I can do magic full time on YouTube, when in past it's never been tried before and it's never been done before. And now it's possible, and that's only that's I, I can only speak very uh, proudly of what those two have been able to accomplish in this field. And I really do feel like it's going to make a lot of better content creators very soon because they're going to be like, oh, Tolarian did this, and uh, the Mana Source did this, and then uh, HQ did this, and they were able to generate enough revenue. Maybe I love Magic instead of being a pro Magic player, I can be a YouTuber in Magic. And maybe make and then maybe twitch and do something else and that's awesome because that's going to create more people that's going to create more content and whenever you have more content uh, you're going to have some better content out of that content <laughs> bye guys <laughs> <laughs>